In this lesson, you will learn to find the volume of a sphere by comparing it to the volume of a cylinder. We're looking to find the volume of a sphere. So what is a sphere? A ball shape is a sphere. For example, a basketball or a tennis ball is a sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional figure with all points the same distance from the center. If we were to cut the sphere in half, we would have a hemisphere. A hemisphere is an exact half of a sphere. Let's start with what we know. This cylinder has an R radius and a height that is equal to twice the radius, or 2R. We know the cylinder's volume is base times height, and the base is the area of the circle pi r squared. We can write the formula for volume by substituting the pi r squared for the b as pi r squared times h. We know that h equals 2r. We can write the formula for volume, substituting the 2r for the h. And so now we have volume equals pi r squared times 2r, or simplified volume equals 2 pi r cubed. Notice that we still have the same formula for volume of a cylinder. We have just substituted different symbols that equal the same thing as volume equals base times height. Let's compare our cylinder with the volume of 2 pi r cubed. And now we'll compare it to a sphere with the same height and the same radius. How can we use what we know about the cylinder to find the volume of this sphere? Notice the sphere has a volume that is less than the cylinder even though they both have the same height and same radius. Let's take our sphere and break it into two hemispheres. And let's add a third hemisphere and fill them with water and pour them one at a time into the cylinder. You notice that each hemisphere has a volume equal to one-third the cylinder. And so now we know that three hemispheres equals the volume of the cylinder with the same height and radius. Let's take a look at how this can help us find the volume of a sphere. Two hemispheres equal the sphere. If we pour two hemispheres of water into the cylinder of the same height and radius, it will fill the cylinder two-thirds. In other words, the volume of the sphere will be two-thirds of the volume of the cylinder. So let's develop this into a formula. We know the volume of a cylinder is 2 pi r cubed. And now we know that the volume of a sphere is two-thirds of this. We can write our formula for the volume of a sphere as 2 thirds multiplied by 2 pi r cubed. Simplified, volume equals 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Let's try a problem. 